So, hey y'all, today I decided to, first and foremost, let's start this again. Hey y'all, it's your girl Ashley Hill. And today I decided to make chili because your girl been cold. Um, I'm feeling a little, not that I'm feeling under the weather, but it's been really, really chilly and I want something really hot. My voice also has been going in and out, if y'all can't tell, like, I sound raspy. So, we're gonna make some chili, homemade chili tonight. And I'm about to show y'all what I got from the grocery store. So, I went to Kroger, which is up the street from my house. So, here are the ingredients. And yeah, let's get started. I chopped up my celery and onions. And then, like, my bowl is cooking. My bowl, my pot, my, I don't even know. But happiness is homemade, and this is my meat, my ground beef is cooking, black beans, I got tomato paste, tomato sauce, sour cream, which I need to put inside the refrigerator. Y'all, I like m and that's the plant in the bag is dead, but okay. So moving along, got another thing, another can of tomato sauce. So two cans of tomato sauce and one can of tomato paste, black beans, kidney beans, um, some okras that I'm gonna cut up so they're not chopped, they're whole. Some cheese to go with the sour cream. Um, some chili pack sauce, so I'm gonna put this on top. And then some carrots in here. And I also got like rotel for like tomatoes and like kind of like some green stuff. Um, the seasoning I use is up here, I use ground black pepper. I also use the garlic pepper and I use the slap your mama so I really just got into slap your mama but it's really good and I like to use it so so that's what I'm putting inside my chili I'm gonna show y'all how the chili come out just the final product and I'm gonna do like a test a test run for you all so I'm excited because your girl been wanting something good and I always go to Wendy's Wendy's always has some good chili, so the girl gonna make homemade chili. When I do cook, I can cook. So, yeah, that's my little recipe, what I got, and we gonna stick to it. Now you see that I added a little bit of okra in there. And I also added a little tail dip too, y'all, so include that in your homemade chili too. Put the tomato sauce in there already, and now the tomato paste is in there too. And I'm about to try to stir it up so y'all can see. I got my okra in here as well. And I'm about to put my carrots in here next. So y'all can get an idea of what's going on. So yeah, just had to get a little stir so y'all can see it. <clears throat> so y'all, this is the, y'all, this is the last part. I put the chili seasoning mix in here. I'm about to stir it up. Y'all listening to my girl Snow Allegra. Like, I'm really loving this song. I'm about to tap into her. Y'all see the beans in there? Oh, it's almost so good. It's gonna taste so good. I wish you knew. So, y'all, I'm gonna cook some cornbread with this. Make some cornbread with this. So, I'm gonna let this simmer and sit for like. 10 minutes and then I'm gonna eat. I'm gonna eat. I'm gonna eat, y'all. So I made my chili. It's a big pot, but we're gonna work with it. I'm gonna be munching on this for like the next four or five days. Check y'all later and thanks for tuning in to my homemade chili mix bowl. Well, hell no. I gotta show you how to finish, brother. <laughs>
Here's the finished product, y'all. It looks so good and it's gonna taste really, really, really good. <laughs> Deuces!